Hello and welcome. So in this video I'm going to talk about my first term at WGU. I'm taking WGU uh, through my employer program, Amazon Career Choice. And it's a bit different than a standard program, but uh, I'm going to just talk about like how it went and what was the whole process. So if I can show you over here, I was able to get all these transfer courses. And if you can see over here, I was able to get them in two parts. The first part, I was able to get all my uh, CompTIA certificates uh, transferred over. This part was I had to brought, uh, get my foreign uh, transcript evaluated in the United States and then send it over. Uh, overall, not so happy they did not take one course from here a couple of here especially the computer courses any computer course if it's older than five years for example programming uh, I did take C C++ uh, web programming a lot they say no it's it's older than five years cannot transfer over <coughs> for uh, certificates uh, they did not take uh, uh, Google IT sports certificate saying that since you are coming through uh, Amazon credit wise so you just have to go through C180 C182 no matter what uh, so this is something that you need to be aware they if you're going through Amazon credit wise they may not take your Google IT sports certificate and they will make you take that C182 anyways uh, C182 since you know I, I already had uh, my A plus Network Plus and uh, the Security Plus certificates along with a ton others that I got from Coursera or uh, EDX um, like from massive online courses uh, websites uh, C182 was I will not say the information was up to date it was uh, it was more like memorizing a lot of old stuff do go through their uh, um, course material, read it through once, and it's very easy to pass if you have any further um, any previous certifications. But they are nothing like the most up to date, like K Plus or Google IT Sports. So don't expect that. They will still be. They probably were still talking about the uh, dot matrix printers. Orientation is painful. Uh, the uh, there is no credit for it. It given to you but the it's a must you must uh, do the orientation before you can they will unlock the next uh, steps or courses or whatever the orientation was painful in a way that all four colleges IT uh, nursing uh, the other one is I believe it's uh, teaching and uh, one more it's all combined so just go through your portion only I started at uh, page one and when I s clicked on one link and it was like took me to my portion and I was like I have already read this uh, that's when I realized okay these are portion wise still uh, some information is same the other is related to your college so go through that make sure uh, you go through orientation is it doneable in one hour? No, a few hours it will take. Uh, for the data management and foundations, uh, it was I failed it. My first try, I passed the PA. I was confident. Uh, I, you know, the internet uh, advice: go take PA if you pass. Just schedule your OA object assessment. I did failed went back to uh, the study material uh, read uh, through everything one thing once you fail <laughs> your instructor send you uh, an email uh, with some uh, documents in it go through them and you can easily pass the scripting and programming foundation I had my uh, what you say wake-up call and I went through the study material, did not uh, take my chance, just like data management. Hey, I took the data, uh, Google Data Analytics uh, course, so I know this. Now uh, I went through the 
study material i knew that they're going to be asking questions specifically from that study material so i went through this ibook i really liked it i enjoyed the programming and all those labs everything and easily passed it next was critical critical thinking and logic i hated this course it's it's like okay you have a glass of water and salad in front of you which one you gonna take a bite out first or sip and you have to it's it's just like making logics and go through there so well <clears throat> Fairly, the experience-wise, I have no complaints. Um, I'm just uh, happy with the program. Uh, the material, a little bit outdated on where I mentioned, for example, the introduction to IT. Other than that, I really enjoyed the computer uh, courses. Uh, the study material is doable. It's not like crazy long or crazy hard uh, if you are studying then yes my study pattern is not a religiously scheduled I go maybe a couple hours every day to maybe no study for a week um, during my term I was internally transfer so during that transition I did not study for two months and they they do reach out to you and say, tell you that hey you have to be studying or you will be put on administrative hold so i updated my mentor and she was able to uh put me back on track uh she actually gave me another month to you know go through and come back to studies but the thing is that if we, there are courses when for example you can see from 20 i passed a course on 26 june took the next one uh, like uh, the seven on 17 july before that i passed a course on 31st may so if uh are the courses are easily doable if you have time uh you can say every day you can maybe study for five six seven eight hours yes you will do uh uh, you will accelerate it. I uh, I will talk more about it in my next video for term two. Uh, but for this, yes, this uh, was very uh, easily doable, uh, and it's something that uh, with a full-time job, family, kids, you can do it. I have, I have a son. Uh, I have a full-time job. I I have obligations all around so I I could manage to uh, squeeze the studies in still I manage to pass uh, the what's the negative the, the only negative thing is that they for Amazon create wise uh, you have to submit voucher for each course and for some odd reason at this beginning they said that we will do one course at a time and in the meantime they were taking a, a week for processing for example i will tell my mentor hey i'm done she will say okay uh, let the admissions uh, send the old voucher in to amazon you print out the new one send it over and you know with amazon create choice you literally download the voucher in five seconds five second it takes you just put in the course name print sub submit and you can download and submit but with on uh, wg and it takes forever i don't know if uh, and i had a feeling that mentor was busy uh or something like uh, you don't send in the voucher to mentor but uh, she or he can open or unlock your account uh, courses and since it was a new program maybe the stall was coming from like administratively they were making decisions right now they have allowed two courses uh, to be unlocked at once since Amazon pays only 5,000 plus change uh, per year the maximum allowed uh, for employee to reimburse um, so with them um, I think WGU it charges around 8,000 for the for the whole year uh, 4300 per term so 
what 8600 for a year so for amazon credit choice now they are unlocking two uh, uh, courses at a one at one time but the thing is once you hit that five thousand plus change mark all the courses are free still they are unlocking uh at two at a time but they are free the 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 way they do it uh is that uh, now there is another voucher or form that they send you you your mentor put in the course you send it to voucher vouchers send it back you send it to mentor and then mentor unlocks the your courses that's how uh, it's being done right now i i literally burned through my the whole uh, employee reimbursement for, for the year 2022 um, next uh, i will be eligible for the next 5000 in january uh, I don't think so that I will be done with my course uh, the bachelors by then and I don't plan to I want to learn this stuff and I actually enjoy like doing it hands-on so it's not just go read and memorize I'm gonna just go learn then take the test uh, video is getting long I'm gonna cut it short and uh, let's wrap it over here I hope it's helped you if you have any questions especially regarding the wg program through amazon career choice you can comment and i will answer uh, i will see you in the next one